Next is a class on the disappearance of His Holiness Keshava Maharaj, given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 21st, 1968, in Seattle. One has to accept the renounced order from another person who is in denounced order. So, I never thought uh, that I shall accept this renounced order of life. Uh, in my family life, uh, when I was in the midst of my wife and children, Sometimes I was dreaming, my spiritual master, that he is calling me, and I was following him. When my dream was over, I was thinking, I was a little horrified. Oh, Guru Maharaj wants me to become sannyas. Oh, oh, how can I accept sannyas? At that time, I was feeling uh, not very satisfaction that I have to give up my family and I have to become a mendicant. At that time, it was a horrible feeling. Sometimes I was thinking, no, I cannot take sadness. But again, I saw the same dream. So in this way, I was fortunate. My Guru Maharaj pulled me out from this material life. I have not lost anything. You are so kind of me. I have gained. I left three children. I have got now three hundred children. So I am not losing. This is material concept. We think that we shall be loser by accepting Krishna. Nobody is loser. I say from my practical experience, I was thinking that how can I accept this? A renounced order of life. Oh, I cannot accept so much trouble. So, but I retired from my family life. I was sitting alone in Vrindavan, writing books. So this, my God-brother, he insisted me, yeah, Bhaktivedanta uh, Prabhu. This title was given in my family life. It was offered to me by the Vaishnava society. So he insisted me. Not he insisted me, practically my spiritual master insisted me through him that you accept. Because without accepting the renounced order of life, uh, nobody can become a preacher. So he wanted me to become a preacher. So he forced me through this God brother, you accept. So unwillingly I accepted. And then I Remember that he wanted me to go to the Western country. So I am very, I am feeling now very much obliged to my this God brother that he carried out the wish of my spiritual master and uh, enforced me to accept this sannyas uh, order. So this God brother. His Holiness, Krishna Maharaj, uh, is no more 
he is uh, he has entered Krishna's abode. So I used to pass a, a resolution of bereavement and send them. So and I have composed one verse also in this connection in Sanskrit. So you all present, you sign this, I shall send it tomorrow. The verse I have composed it in Sanskrit. Vairāga vidyā nija bhakti yoga. This uh, Krishna consciousness is vairāga vidyā. Vairāga vidyā means to become detestful to this material world. That is called vairāga vidyā. And that is possible simply by this bhakti uh, yoga. Vairāgya vidyā nija bhakti yoga. Vairāgya vidyā nija bhakti yoga apāyat mā. Uh, this, just like medicine, uh, a child is afraid of taking medicine. That also I have experienced. In my childhood, when I became ill, uh, I was very stubborn. I won't accept any medicine. So my mother used to force medicine within my mouth with a spoon. Uh, I was soft in it. So anyway, similarly, I did not want to accept the sannyas water, but this God brother forced me. You must. Apayanma. Ah, Apayanma means he forcefully made me to drink this medicine. Anavipsu amnam. Why I was unwilling? Anavipsu means unwilling. Amnam. Amnam means one who is blind, who cannot see his future. They Spiritual life is the brightest future, but the materialist cannot see to it. But the Vaishnava, uh, the spiritual master, the forcefully, uh, you drink this. Apayan maam anavipsumangam. Si kesa babhakti pragyana nama. So this my god brother, his name is Kesha, Bhakti Prakyan Kesha. Kibam Budhi. So he did this favor upon me because he was ocean of mercy. So we offer our obeisances to Vaishnava. Kibam Budhi. Bancha Kalpaturubhascha. Kripa-sindu uh, bhaiva, the Vaishnavas, the representative of the Lord, they are so kind. They bring the ocean of mercy for distributing to the suffering humanity. Kripaṁ buddhīca, samaham trapadde. So I am offering my respect for these senses and to this. Oh, his holiness, because he forcefully uh, made me adopt this sannyas order. So he is no more in this world. Uh, he has entered Krishna's abode. So I am offering my respectful obeisances along with my disciples. Uh, on the first day of my sannyas, I never thought, uh, but I remember that I will have to uh, speak in English. So I remember 
on that sunnah day when there was a reception. So I, first of all, I spoke in English. So it is all arrangement of Krishna, of higher authority. So the we are writing like this, resolve that we, the undersigned members and devotees of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, Incorporated, in a condolence meeting under the presidency of His Divine Grace, A.C. Vakthivedan Sam, today, the 21st of October 1968, at our Seattle branch, express our profound bereavement on hearing the passing of His Divine Grace, Om Vishnu Pāp, Sissima, Bhakti Prajñāna, Gesha, Goshāna, Mahārāna, the Sannyas Guru, preceptor of our spiritual master, and on October 6, 1968, at his headquarter residence in Navadhi, West Bengal, we offer our respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of Sima P. P. Kesav Goswami Maharaj with the following verse composed on this occasion by our spiritual master. This verse I have already explained to you. So I wish that you all sign this and I will send it tomorrow by airmail.